I can't tell you how many people pull me and plead with me. You know, you have to make it better. We're counting on you. You have to make our world better. We believe in you. That's a lot of pressure. Pressure Yvette Simpson welcomes in her quest to become Cincinnati's next mayor. And see that she's in it. But yeah, we have some kids here that are from the building that come, at, come down every day after school. She calls herself a champion for the people. So what better place to put a campaign office in the heart of the community in Walnut Hills. I'm someone who, you, you know, I know, <laughs> I know. We're right here, yeah. so we are in the community. Right. Somebody's gonna knock on that door and they're gonna want some water or some chips or something, and we're gonna have to get them some chips and some water. Cause, yeah, I just noticed you know, how many sounds that you hear. Yeah, we, it's that an active, morning. it's an active corner. We were told about 50,000 cars drive down this, this intersection every day, which is why we picked it. This is the part of the office that nobody gets to see. The War Room, where one essential part of the campaign takes place, fundraising. Yeah, we got a big goal. So. Is that the hardest, one of the hardest things to do, ask for me? It is. It is, particularly for us where, when we get in this stage, where we've got over 3,000 donors, um, we've got people who don't have a whole lot of money, and we're asking them to give again. All right, you ready? Yeah, 20, uh, two B. It's the next one. Our exclusive access to the Simpson campaign included Hello, hello, who's with us? Hi! This private meet and greet at an East End condo. These gatherings, although small and intimate, are critical, especially in the final days. Oh, yes. Can you help me with him? Simpson knows voters want that one-on-one -on -one time with their candidates. Oh, yeah. They either love you or they really don't, or they've got one issue that they need to talk about with you right now. I think people are still really trying to figure out, you know, the contrast. Because I think there's been a lot of John Cranley and Yvette Simpson are the same. We are the same person. We vote the same way. I know there was a lot of rhetoric around that, particularly in the primary. And what we're saying is you really do have a choice. Simpson has not lost sight of the ground game that carried her to victory in the primary. But that was then. And this is now. It's even yeah. more strategic now because we this election is a turnout election. So the polls show John and I neck and neck, literally neck and neck. We're within the margin of error. We think that our voters, based on our research, are more enthusiastic. So if we can get all those folks to show up, we win. If they stay home, we don't. So Council Member Simpson graduated from Princeton High School and Miami University. She also has a law degree from the University of Cincinnati and an MBA from Xavier University. Ms. Simpson was first elected to council in 2011. She is currently the council president pro tem. WLWT will be leading the way with all of your election day needs next.